Shipu vs. Maltipu. Choosing between a Shipu vs. Maltipu doesn't have to be an impossible dilemma. This video gets to grips with all the similarities and differences between them, so that you can pick a puppy with confidence. Shipus are a cross between a Shizu and a toy or miniature poodle. And Maltipus are a mix of Maltese and toy or miniature poodle. Since both mixes combine a poodle parent with a popular breed from the toy dog group, they have a lot in common. However, depending on your circumstances, and what you're looking for in a dog, one is likely to be slightly better suited to you than the other. You can use these links to navigate to the Maltipu versus Shipu differences. You're most interested in, or scroll down to learn them all. Both mixes have the potential to be great companion dogs, let's start with an overview of why they might make your dog breed shortlist. Shipu versus Maltipu appearance. Shipus and Maltipus are both highly variable in size, so it's impossible to choose between them based on this alone. Take a look at the sizes of all the possible parents. Toy Poodle, 4 to 6 pounds. Maltese, 6 to 7 pounds. Shizu, 9 to 16 pounds. Miniature Poodle, 10 to 15 pounds. So a Maltipu from a Toy Poodle will be very small indeed, just 4 to 7 pounds. And a Shipu from a Miniature Poodle will be twice the size, 9 to 16 pounds. In between, you can also get Maltipus from Miniature Poodles which outweigh Shipus from Toy Poodles. So if size is important to you, it's not which mix you pick that matters, but the size of your puppy's own parents. Both dogs come from parents with small, round faces and big dark eyes. So when it comes to cuteness, we'll call it a draw. One of the most distinctive things about either mix is likely to be their coat, so we'll look at how they compare in closer detail next. Shipu versus Maltipu coat. Poodles and Shih Tzus both come in a kaleidoscope of attractive colors. But Maltese breeders are purists, only white, with perhaps the tiniest hint of lemon or tan, will do. This doesn't necessarily mean Maltipus come in fewer colors than Shipus though since Maltipus can inherit their color from their poodle parent. Shih Tzus and Maltese both have long, straight coats, non-shedding coats. But only the Shih Tzu has a dense, double coat, whereas the Maltese's coat is distinctly finer and silkier. Shipus and Maltipus will both have non-shedding coats that require frequent brushing and monthly trips to the groomer. But the exact texture and amount of curl in their coat will vary from individual to individual. Poodle mixes owe a lot of their popularity to the potential for inheriting a poodle's curly, low-shedding coat. It makes them a popular choice for people who are turned off by the prospect of dealing with shed hair. And you might see the poodle-type coat being described as hypoallergenic too. However, the reality is that all dogs produce allergens, because those allergens are found in their saliva, and to a lesser extent their sweat and urine, not in their hair. So neither the Shipu nor the Maltipu is guaranteed to be suitable for people with allergies. Shipu versus Maltipu temperament. Whenever dogs from two different pedigrees mate, there is no way to tell what combination of personality traits their puppies will inherit from each breed. They could take after one parent more than the other, or be a complete mashup of both. There's even a lot of variation between siblings from the same litter. Furthermore, the environment and the amount of socialization they receive also affect temperament. In general, Shipus tend to be friendly, playful pups who love chasing a ball and playing with their toys. Some may be a little shy around strangers but will love to cuddle up with their owners. Maltipus are also very affectionate dogs, who like to be active. They may tend to exhibit destructive behavior if they don't get enough exercise or attention. One less than endearing quality these two crosses share is a tendency to bark. It can be a hard habit to break, but there are ways to train a dog not to bark. And we'll look more at training next. Shipu versus Maltipu trainability. Poodles are known for being extremely intelligent. They are widely regarded as one of the easiest dogs to train, both because they are clever, and because they are easily motivated to want to train. Shih Tzus and Maltipus are also intelligent but they are more likely to be described as stubborn in training sessions. They're not actually being willfully difficult, it's just that they have no working history. So they come across as less engaged in training, especially considered next to the cooperative poodle. On balance, Shipus and Maltipus are both likely to be at least moderately easy to train. Tricky areas may include Toilet training for very small dogs. Maltipu from toy poodles are likely to be tiny and have tiny bladders to match. This can make toilet training a much longer and more labor-intensive process. Separation Anxiety Shih Tzus and Maltese were both bred to provide humans with the company. 
this means they aren't very well equipped to spend long periods of time by themselves. Either of these mixes needs to be taught how to spend time alone very gradually, and their maximum tolerance for it might be quite low. Shipu versus Multipu Exercise Requirements Even small dogs need daily exercise to stay fit and burn off energy to avoid destructive behaviors. Both of these mixes need 30 to 60 minutes of daily outdoor exercise, which could consist of a short walk, run, or playing in the yard. Larger dogs between 13 and 16 pounds will have more stamina for hikes and days out than small dogs under 7 pounds. Exercise doesn't end with outdoor activity though, both of these mixes will need outlets for their physical energy at home. Such as toys and training games. Since both these mixes are part of Poodle, there's a good chance that they will enjoy swimming too. Shipu versus Multipu Health. Mixed dogs are susceptible to health issues that affect their parent breeds. Responsible breeders screen for hereditary health conditions, so it's important to be aware of which certificates to expect. Common hereditary problems of the toy and miniature poodle include Cushing's disease a serious condition commonly caused by a tumor in the pituitary gland that usually affects older dogs. Patella luxation. An orthopedic disorder of the knee. Tracheal collapse. In which the windpipe impairs the dog's ability to breathe. Von Willebrand's disease a bleeding disorder. Epilepsy. Hypothyroidism. Diabetes. Health problems of Shih Tzus. Shih Tzus can also inherit health problems through their Shih Tzu parent. Shih Tzus are one of the brachycephalic or flat-faced breeds. While their short muzzle is one of the things that make these dogs so cute and popular, it also causes them severe respiratory problems and eye disease. Shih Tzus are also prone to hip dysplasia. Degenerative myelopathy a neurological disease. Tooth decay. Maltese health problems. Maltese dogs are another brachycephalic breed. Besides the complications of this, they are also vulnerable to hip dysplasia. Patella luxation. Degenerative myelopathy. Tooth decay. Tracheal collapse. White Shaker Dog Syndrome A condition causing mild to severe shaking or shivering tremors that make it difficult to stand or walk. Heart murmurs and an irregularity called patent ductus arteriosus. Gastrointestinal disorders such as inflammatory bowel disease that can cause vomiting, diarrhea, or weight loss. Choosing between a Shizu versus Multipu for health. Shipus and Multipus each have their own unique profile of health risks. Choosing a puppy from a responsible breeder who only uses health-tested sires and dams increases the likelihood that your dog will have a long, healthy life. Exercising them carefully to protect their joints, using a harness to reduce the risk of tracheal collapse, and sticking to a regular schedule of vet checks are all things you can be proactive about, to ensure their long-term health. Shipu versus Multipu, which one is right for me? Both the Shipu and Multipu are small companion dogs who like to snuggle and love human company. Either of these energetic, playful pups can adapt to small living spaces and will fit into most homes. But neither is likely to cope well with being left alone for long periods, something to consider if you work full-time. Something else to consider is how much time you hope to spend walking with your dog. If you're outdoorsy, a shipu from a miniature poodle will be able to keep up on most hikes. But a multipu from a toy poodle will get left behind on all but the shortest strolls. Choosing the right mix may also hinge on who else lives with you. Toy poodles, Maltesers, and their crosses all have small, delicate frames. They are very vulnerable to injury if a boisterous child plays with them too roughly. So a shipu from a miniature poodle is a most robust choice for families. Are you having trouble deciding between the shipu and multipu? Or have you ever had one of these mixes in your life? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way. To an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.